So the incident happening, I think most of the MLA the officers, they have been to Mukro village. So you could see the condition of the people resides in Mukro village. Sir. They are very poor. There's no proper infrastructure. So, sir, I've seen that it is mentioning in the governor address with regard to the Mukro, but in the governor address, it seems that it fails to mention what are the what are the things that the government is planning to do to help the people of Mukro village and also to develop the infrastructure in Mukro village itself. So, so there are some points that I would like to point out. Point number one is that what I would like to request from the government sir, is that to kindly set up one of our primary school and along with one secondary school in Mukro village. Sir. Because till now there's only one government LP school in Mukro. So students from Mukro village, after they pass their class, I mean their LP school, they have to travel all the way to Barato, to Maidang, to get their upper primary uh, studies. Sir. So that is point number one, sir. And also, sir, point number two, what I would like to raise is that with regard to the upgradation of the sub-center in Mukro village, I think most of us have, have seen it. It is such uh, in a dilapidated condition. So I would like to urge upon the government, sir, to kindly upgrade the sub-center into a PHC, sir. So that is point number two. And also, sir, point number three. We are all very grateful to the government after the incident that is happening in Mukro. The government provides some financial support to all the victim family. But as I have said before, sir, only one-time support is not sufficient for some of the family members. Sir. Because some of the family members, they lost their father. They lost the person who used to work and earn for the, for the family. So only one-time support is not sufficient, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to request upon the government, at least if possible, a monthly kind of support should be provided to the five victim families of Mukro village. And point number four, sir, I would also like to urge the government to kindly expedite the setting, the setting up of a border outpost in Mukro village. Just day before yesterday, the IC in charge of Barato outpost he was calling me, sir, that Assam official, they were calling him, <clears throat> and they were telling him that the temporary check post that was set up by Meghalaya government, police, it has to be removed, sir. Just day before yesterday, the IC called me, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to urge upon the government to kindly expedite the process to set up a permanent border police outpost so that the people of Mukro will feel safe and secure, sir. And, sir, another point. What I saw in my... as per my knowledge, sir, it seems that the government of Assam, it does not respect or maintain the status quo, sir. Why I'm saying this, sir? Because, just to give you an example, there's three construction that is going on in block one area, sir. One that is the construction of the police outpost at Umlang Hong Sabah. I only informed the government, but till now, no action has been taken and the construction of that police outpost has only been completed. And also, sir, the very same issue that we are discussing to remove the forest check gate of Assam all to relocate it. But in the process, sir, I've been there just uh, last month. What I found is that it's very shocking, sir. Instead of removing, removing or relocate the forest circuit, but they are strengthening the infrastructure of that particular circuit, sir. I've seen that big wall is coming out. And also, sir, just in front of the forest circuit, the government of Assam, they are constructing one big road, sir. I don't know whether this has come to the knowledge of the government or the administration, administration or not, 
but this need to be taking care of her. Because from our side, whenever we try to construct anything, surely the government of Assam will feel they will come and stop us. But why? The government of Assam, they are constructing some road or some building in block one area. From the government of Meghalaya side, we are just keeping quiet, sir. So, sir, especially for these two incidents, it needs to be stopped immediately, sir. And also, sir, another point that is the second phase of the border discussion. As we all know, sir, that there's 36 number of villages which are all inhabited by Panar people in Block 1 area. So, sir, with the government trying to solve the border issue, I would just like to request upon the government kindly make sure that all these 36 villages which was inhabited by Panar people to be included in the list and also, if possible, all 36 number of villages, they should be returning back to Meghalaya. This is what the people want, sir. Because I've seen and have been there, despite being there for hundred and hundred of years, till now there's no developmental activities that is happening inside this block one area. So that's why, sir, I would like to urge upon the government to kindly bring back all the 36 number of villages back to Meghalaya. Uh, next point with regard to the CNRD, sir. No doubt, sir, I'm very happy that the government has done a tremendous job in the last five years with the creation of nine new CNRD, two new civil subdivisions, and one new district. This is a very good achievement on the part of the government, sir, because this will bring administration closer to, to the public and also in the process it will generate employment for the youth of our, uh, of our state. No doubt, sir, this is a very big achievement. And I think the whole state is happy with the, uh, with the work that was done by the previous government, MDA1. But, sir, however, in that process, I personally am very sad, sir. Why I'm sad, sir? Because there's one demand that I made from time to time, and that is the creation or upgradation of Laskin civil subdivision, sir. The first demand that we made with regard to the civil subdivision, Laskin civil subdivision, it was made way back in the year 1993, sir, on the floor of the house. And the same demand was repeated time and time, again and again, sir. But till now, we are yet to see the light of the day, sir. So what I feel personally, sir, this is maybe some kind of injustice that was being done to the people of my constituency and my block, sir. So, sir, I would like to urge upon the government. We have seen the good job, the good work that was being done by the government. So, sir, I hope this time that the government will listen to the cry and to the need of the people of my constituency and also the Laskin CNRD block. And that is to upgrade the Laskin CRD block into a civil subdivision, sir. So, sir, I would like to watch upon our honorable chief minister, sir, to kindly take up this matter, sir. We have been demanding from time to time. We have been asking from time to time. In a period of five years, so many new districts came out, new civil subdivision, new CNRD. Whereas our last game block being one of the oldest block, it remained the same, sir, as a CNRD block since 1973, sir. And also, sir, when it comes to the health and family welfare department, sir, I would just like to urge upon the government that there's a very urgent need to set up one PHC in Sierra or, if possible, in Monubair village, sir. I have raised this issue last year. And I hope that the government, this time, it will take a very keen interest to set up one PHC in Sierra or in Molubair village, sir. Because this will, this will really help the people of Block 1 area who want to avail the health service 
that would be provided by the government, sir. And also, sir, some of the villages in my constituency, where the population is more than 3,000, we are yet to get a sub-center, so, sir, to get, to get to this point also, I would like to urge upon the government to kindly look into this point also, sir. So, sir, with these very few points, and with a very limited time, I receive my seat. Thank you, sir.